Last time on Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we looked at three suitable armies to find success in Clan War Leagues. Today, I want to know what is the best defensive Clan Castle troops for Town Hall 11 and rank them. Players want to know what are the best troops to put in their clan castles on defense as a Town Hall 11 or a Town Hall 10, and players want to also know how to deal with those clan castle troops. Only makes sense because we're in the middle of clan war leagues anyways. What's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 25 of the Town Hall 11 free to play series. So today I'm over here in Joe's hideout doing some testing on my own. I got to get a feel for the clan castle troops to be able to confidently say what is actually the best defensive clan castle troops. Now this all starts stemmed from a conversation over on Discord earlier today. I went on there and asked players what they thought was the best defensive clan castle troops for Town Hall 11. Now, naturally, this would apply to Town Hall 10s as well. If you upgraded your clan castle, you should have 35 housing space, so these troops will relate to you as well. Now, here are the facts about your defensive bases and the defending clan castle troops. The element of surprise is the best form of defense on any base design, meaning that if you have a player go on your base that has never been hit and they fail to three start on the first First try you more than likely have a decent base design and a decent troop combination in your clan castle don't base any of this off of a second or third attempt because naturally the element of surprise is no longer there so we have four different troop combinations that we're going to look at today in detail if you want to know how to deal with a clan castle at town hall 11 without having to worry about what's inside well naturally you have the option for the lightning spells and the earthquake spell right now in the game as of today's date you can use exactly six level eight lightning spells and one maxed out earthquake spell to destroy the clan castle this means that you don't have to worry about what's inside it's gone the clan castle troops that were inside of it are no longer with us so what if you don't feel confident with those lightning spell attacks, nor do you have the level eight lightning spells at your disposal? You're gonna have to deal with those enemy clan castle troops. Now, what you have to think about when it comes to clan castle and the defending troops is you have to answer a couple of questions and what it does. Does it cause disruption? Does the defending clan castle troops cause the player to use more spells than what's necessary, or does it slow the attack down? These are criteria that play a major role in the defense of the defending clan castle troops. So here's what I got going on. I did four different attacks with the same exact army, the same exact spell composition, and the same exact base. That way all the parameters are exactly the same, minus the defending clan castle troops. So we have the minor hog rider army that we're using today, the hybrid attack, and most of the time in the hybrid attack we're going to use a queen walk you got the balloon you got the healers her job is to normally clear out a zone of defenses set a funnel and clear out the enemy clan castle troops that way these troops are not shutting down your miners and hog riders this applies to the lalo armies this applies to dragon armies this normally applies to a lot of different strategies out there if you're using the queen walk so what we got going on here in this clan castle is what i feel is not the best defending clan castle troops right now in the game anymore because it's a little played out it's a little old school and it does not cause enough disruption in the attack now if you're using a queen walk what you really want to make sure that you do is don't use more spells than what you have to and so we had to use one rage spell in this attack to get her through these defenses we have the electro dragon and the balloon let's go ahead and speed it up and slow it back down and we're going to stop it right there we have a poison spell drop to slow the balloon down we have a second rage spell drop to keep this queen alive and get get her the uh, the strength i guess you could say to clear out this enemy electro dragon now the one thing about the electro dragon is that it takes a really long time to attack so it only gets off about like one shot on the queen before it dies the balloon in a poison spell slows way down so it doesn't necessarily cause enough disruption in the attack the queen is able to move on she's able to take out the eagle artillery in this attack and she also has her ability available this is something that we can consider not useful because you the, the attacker still has his ability the queen has her ability and so if a queen has her ability normally she will survive the attack and she will be able to assist the rest of the army to progress deeper in the base this queen was able to clear the eagle artillery she was able to clear out the grand warden the bomb tower a couple of expos whatever she did so much and this is not necessarily the best case of disruption so i'm going to label this one as number four on my list of defensive clan castle troops and we're going to go ahead and take a look at number three now. 
for my third defensive clan castle troop lineup, we have one headhunter, two witches, and one balloon. This brings a very interesting combination to the defending clan castle troops because we have spawning troops from the witches, and you also have the headhunter can sneak in there and kill off a queen walk very fast if you're not paying attention. The spawn units can also overwhelm troops and slow the attack down. So we went ahead and started this attack, and we've moved halfway through this section. The same exact thing as the previous attack. We got the jump spell dropped. We're going to move this queen into this compartment. We're using a rage spell to get her, her life back up prior to dealing with the clan castle. She's going to take the jump, taking on the archer tower, and then we're going to see the enemy clan castle troops come out. Let's go ahead and speed this one up and slow it back down. We got that poison spell. We have the headhunter targeting the queen. Now, here's the thing about that headhunter. When it targets the queen and actually hits her, it slows her down. It's doing a poison effect to this hero, so she's not able to clear out the spawning troops and she's going to get overwhelmed very quickly now the poison spell is also counteracting this it's basically killing off the skeletons and it's also slowing that balloon down but if you do not have that poison spell that balloon will sneak in above the queen and eliminate her while she's targeting these skeletons this serves as a very good deterrent for your defending clan castle troops it also slows down the attack but again her ability does not get used so she's able to move on in the attack it just slows her down for a little bit and she's able to proceed throughout the attack taking on the eagle artillery yet again dealing with some of these defenses but she will have to use her ability because she's being targeted hardcore so it does have some lasting effects after her engagement with the enemy clan castle troops she does have to end up using her ability very early in the raid so she's not able to save it for the back end of the attack or later on in the attack but again she's able to move on cause a little bit of disruption and this is why I have the witches, the balloon, and the headhunter labeled at number three, but it could go higher on the list if you're not paying attention or if you're surprised by it. Trust me, I've been there. For this defensive clan castle troop combination, I'm labeling it at number two, but technically it's number one and quite possibly the best defending clan castle troops if you do not have the ability to get super troops from your clanmates. We're talking about one ice golem, three headhunters, and filler troops. Whether it's two archers or two goblins does not necessarily matter. But when we look at this one in action, you have to think about those questions that I asked at the beginning of the video. Does it cause a disruption? Does it slow the attack down? Does it cause you to use your spells? And it does it cause you to use the queen's ability very early in the attack and it does actually all of those things if you're not paying attention now the big difference here is, is that i knew what was inside the clan castle so i was able to prepare for it i was able to drop the poison spell on time and not be very slow with it but the headhunters we have three of those instead of just one so when we get in on this queen those headhunters will target her hardcore we have to use a rage spell and we might even have to use her ability if we're not paying attention so she's able to eliminate the headhunters but it goes very slow notice her health bar she's losing a lot of health very very fast but we also have the ice golem now technically by design we want the queen to target the ice golem first and get eliminated by the headhunters but that did not happen in this attack but it will slow down the attack by the ice golem it freezes slows her down and it also causes her to take damage while the rage spell wears off so she has to move into the next compartment not under rage and this will cause the ability to have to be used very early in the attack so again it covers all of the parameters slowing down the attack disruption causes you to use the queen's ability cause you to use more spells and this is a very reliable defensive clan castle set of troops that can really alter the outcome of your base's defense i'm telling you this is possibly one of the worst ones to face because those headhunters are just incredibly dangerous so with this we're going to move into our number one selection but i want you to remember that this one technically is the best unless you can get super troops let's go ahead and get into our next one and for our final combination on defense in the clan castle we have to include it for awareness purposes we have the inferno dragon and three headhunters and filler troops this is incredibly dangerous guys you have to know about this i know that not everybody can get these troops but you have to be aware of the possibilities of seeing this in your clan wars so we're going to go ahead and speed this one up and slow 
slow it down. Now, the thing about this army or this defending clan castle group is that we have technically a single target inferno tower in the mix. Headhunters move in on the queen. They slow her way down with their ability. Rage spell dropped, but the single target inferno tower from the inferno dragon causes you to have to use that queen's ability. This has lasting effects well after these troops die. It doesn't matter whether they survive or not. It has the capability of killing off the queen or causing the queen to die immediately after their engagement. So she's going to move into that eagle artillery. Her ability is no longer there. The rage spell effects are gone from the healers and it causes the queen to end up dying, which has lasting effects on the backside of this attack. So the Grand Warden will cause the queen to almost lose all of her health. That final or second uh, hidden Tesla there will kill off the queen. So now we're reliant on simply just the miners and the hogs, the Grand Warden, to finish up this attack. And this causes the ability to have a time fail. It causes the ability to, you know, not have her on the back end over here clearing out these buildings. I mean, these are things that you have to worry about. So this is by far the most dangerous defending clan castle troops in the game at Town Hall 11 right this moment. But again, this also has limitations because not everybody can get them. And I understand that. But again, all these attacks were three star attacks, but you have to be aware of the differences between the defending clan castle troops and the capabilities of your bases. And on that note, I do believe that that's going to wrap us up for today. Now, I'm fully aware that I did not cover every single combination that we've seen on defense in the clan castles. I didn't cover baby dragons, nor did I cover standard dragons dragons, lava hounds, golems, yada, 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 so on and so on. Those are all older combinations that are not necessarily as popular as they once were. There are better options these days, and the headhunter is very dangerous, and it has the capability of surprise and shutting down your attacks or defending your bases, whichever. And I also needed to make sure that you are aware of the electro dragon and the differences between those, the electro dragon versus the ice golem and the headhunter. There are major differences there, and it's not as big of a disruptor as it used to to be so hopefully you're able to get something out of today's video and if you enjoyed the content make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us every single day turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you want to see this series from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care